Hello, welcome to Con Corner. I'm Tina and today I'm making a copycat of Good Seasons Italian dressing mix. Salad dressing mix, excuse me. Well, I don't normally use Italian salad dressing mix, but um, for Easter I wanted to make um, a, a potato salad according to Paul's mother's recipe. And in it, she uses a bottled Italian salad dressing. And I forgot to buy it. And Paul said, well, you can just make your own. And I got to thinking about it. And I thought, well, okay, but I'll, I'll do it this way. And then I'll get more of that same. I'll be sure I get that same kind of flavor. <clears throat> so um, this one is, is, uh, is just a, a copycat of a mix. <clears throat> and... Uh, I'll do up the salad dressing, the the uh, potato salad later, so that you guys can see how that goes. So I'm going to start with um, a tablespoon of sugar, and two tablespoons of salt, Half a teaspoon of celery seed. A couple of tablespoons of parsley. Some thyme, just a small amount of thyme, just a, just a sprinkle of thyme in it. Um, some basil. This is basil that I grew. So some of it I just threw in there without crunching it up first. So. Couple of teaspoons of that. Uh, where are we at here? This is oregano that my friend grew. She grows the best herbs, and she just pinches off little bits of them at a time. That's how she harvests them. Just little pinches here and there, and dries them real slowly and carefully. Um, this has got a really strong flavor. So we're going to use. Um, a couple of teaspoons of that, actually one and a half teaspoons of this. It's very, very strong. If you have a commercial, you might need up to a, a, a tablespoon of the oregano. Okay, some black pepper. Half a teaspoon. Garlic powder, a tablespoon of this. This is garlic powder that I made from garlic that I grew. Ah, there we go. It's kind of stuck in there, isn't it? A tablespoon of onion powder. I tried baking onion powder one time and it's so sticky that, uh, and, and it's, both onions and garlic smell for a long time when you dehydrate them. So you kind of have to do it outside. <laughs> but, uh, okay, now let's, uh, where's a little, I thought I had a little, a little do that, but I'll just use a. I thought I had a little tiny whisk, but I can't find it right now. So I'm just going to stir this up together. And that's it. Then, then I'm going to mix it up and make, a, make a, a, a batch of dressing out of it. It mixes together pretty well, these things do. Um, 
um, my uh, stepmother gave made and gave me a uh, a batch of homemade mix for ranch dressing one year and it was so good and uh, I keep meaning to ask her for the recipe that she used because it was it was really tasty and it worked great and all you have to do is just you know just dip dip a spoonful of it out of the out of the package or the jar. Now this is enough to last us for a hundred years as seldom as we use it. But I may find other things to use it for. Um, I may use it in something else I'm going to make tonight, so we'll see. Okay, All right, there we go. Now I'll be back and show you how to mix up the dressing. Okay, now to mix it up, I'm going to use I'm going to start with a quarter cup of vinegar, and I'm using apple cider vinegar, but you can use whatever um, whatever you have. You can even use white vinegar, you can use rice vinegar, you can use balsamic. I want a lighter colored one for this recipe that I'm using. And how much of it you'll need will vary depending on how strong flavored your vinegar is. And then I'm going to add... I'm going to start with a half a cup of oil, and I'm using uh, extra virgin olive oil. I love how it smells. It smells like a flower garden. It's so good. But there again, you can use your favorite, your favorite oil. They used to use just plain old cooking oil, you know, at home. Um, when I was growing up, they... Everybody used Crisco and, and uh, usually had a small bottle of, of some kind of cooking oil, <laughs> Mazzola or something, and that's what they used to use. <laughs> I might need, well, let me keep that out. I might need a little bit more of it. You can add a little bit more oil if it's, if it's, uh, um, if it's too uh, uh, tart for you. Now then, this is Paul's little trick that he taught me a long time ago. Add about half a teaspoon of prepared mustard, and I'm using uh, design mustard, but you can use yellow mustard if, if that's what you have. It does not affect the flavor of a vinaigrette salad dressing, but what it does do is uh, allow the oil and the vinegar to emulsify. So once you've shaken it up or whisked it up, it won't, uh, it won't separate as quickly. So that's a, and it is brilliant, and it doesn't take much. Like I said, about a half a teaspoon is, is really all that you need. <clears throat> okay, and a couple of tablespoons of this mix. Actually, I'm going to start with one tablespoon of this mix. Down my little whisk and like I said you can put this in a jar and just shake it up make be as good as anything since I'm going to pour this out uh, shortly I wanted it in a in a pitcher and uh, I think you can see it's uh it's very nicely uh, very nicely emulsified now, let me get a little piece of lettuce and we'll give it a taste Here. It's starting to separate a little bit. Okay, now then let's give it a try. Mmm. Mmm. That's actually just perfect. Let me get Paul to taste it. Ready? Perfect. All right. All right. And there we go. Your own fresh homemade Italian dressing, Italian vinaigrette. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Appreciate you stopping by my kitchen. 
come back and see what I do with this after a while.